Today's talk is about how we can go about living more conscious lives, uh, be more conscious about the lives that we lead, and also about how we can be wise about managing and investing one of life's most precious resources, which is really our energy. So life truly is a manifestation of where we direct our energy. What do I mean by that? Let's look at energy the same way we look at water. If I took a watering can and I watered a garden bed, would the weeds grow or the flowers grow? Which would grow? Both, right? Water has no ability to discriminate between the weeds and the flowers. Whatever I water will grow. Energy is the same way as well. If I took my energy and I invested it into something or someone positive, it will grow and become more positive. If I took my energy and invested it into something or someone negative, it will grow and become more negative. Energy has absolutely no way to discriminate between positive and negative. Whatever I put my energy into, it will start to grow and manifest in our lives. So your life right now is really a historical record, a proof of where you've been investing your energy over the years. So life truly is a manifestation of where we invest our energy. So in the concept of looking at how we manage and invest our energy, where do we start? We start with the world's greatest tool. I'm not talking about zero, even though it is wonderful. I'm talking about the mind, right? We all have a mind. It truly is the world's greatest tool. We've all been given one. The mind created the smartphone that all of you are using. It created laptops, computers. It's got a rover on Mars that's driving around now, picking up stones, analyzing data, sending it back to us. But the one interesting thing, we have the most amazing tool sitting inside our head, but the one thing that we don't have is a manual on how to use it. Right? We've never been given a manual for the mind. You buy a point and shoot camera, which sole purpose is to point and shoot, yet it comes with a 70 page manual. You buy clothes, your clothing comes with manual. There's a tag inside your blouse or your shirt that tells you if you, if you should wash it in cold water or hot water, if it should be dried in low heat or high heat, laid flat on the table, hung on a clothesline. Food comes with manual telling you how to cook the food, how to prepare and cook the food. But yet, the mind, the most powerful tool in the world, comes with no manual. And we wonder why we struggle with our lives, because we don't know how to use it, and we've never been taught how to use it. When I joined the monastery, one of the first things my guru asked me is, do you know how the mind works? And I said to him, no, I don't. And he says, well, we have to start there. Because it's impossible for you to create and manifest what you want in life if you don't even know what you're working with. Imagine downloading, uh, subscribing to Xero and yet having no idea how Xero works. What would you be able to create with it? Not very much, right? You have to understand the software. 